We're going to run through the Root Finder program really quick. Now this is one of the built-in programs in the HP 20S. So we're going to go into the program space. You'll notice that I already have a program loaded here, but I'm going to load A for the Root Finder. And now that has erased my previous program that I had in the program space and loaded the Root Finder. Now the Root Finder is incomplete. It requires you to go to the F label, so I use the up arrow to scroll down to the very bottom of the list, line 62, and this is the F label. So we're going to enter our function here. The function I've picked is out of the manual. It is x to the sixth minus x minus one, and we want to find the roots of those. There are two roots to this. One root is at negative 0.78, and the other root is at 1.13. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to store the value that we have in the, the register. So we're going to put a number into our uh, calculator and then we're going to store it. So I'm gonna store, and let's just store in zero. Um, then I'm going to take that number that's already in the register and I'm going to put it to the sixth power. Now there, to the sixth. Now I'm going to subtract, then recall what I had previously put in the zero register, which is x. And I'm going to subtract 1. And I'm going to say equal. And that should give us the answer. So let's see. Let's exit our program space here. Now let me check the check the checksum real quick. I think that looks good. So I just did shift show and that gives me the checksum of the program. So 46B5. Exit my program. Um, now I can enter in an initial guess for the root. So we've got two roots. I think the one I said was negative 0.78. The other was 1.13. So the first root, well, let's just give an initial guess of two. We're going to execute our A program. It runs, and we get 1.13. So there's one of the roots. The other root, well, let's do a guess of negative 2. We'll execute the program. And it found the other root. So when you're finding the roots of, a, um, of an equation, you need to put in an initial guess. And, you know, it's, it's usually not too hard to find a guess. If I put in 9 as my initial guess, um, then it should converge back down to the 1.13. It might just take a little bit longer. And I can put in, you know, negative whatever for my guess. But just, uh, you're going to have to think and have an idea of, of where your roots are or how many roots you might have. 